In a terrific acting debut, Park Jimin visits the country of her birth and decides on a whim to seek out her biological parents, with gripping consequences. The implacable forces of nature, nurture, and destiny are what this movie grapples with. It is a really emotional and absorbing drama about adoption with terrific performances, many from non-professional first-timers, and compelling soundtrack musical cues. Franco-Cambodian filmmaker Davy Cho directs, co-writing the screenplay with artist Laure Badoufle, a Korean adoptee brought up in France whose personal story inspired the film. Park Ji-min makes her acting debut in a role that mirrors her own life as well as Badoufle's, a Korean with adoptive French parents. She plays Freddie Benoit, a footloose 20-something who on a whim comes on a trip to Seoul, checks into a hostel for foreigners, and imperiously decides that the polite French-speaking receptionist Tina, subtly played by author Guka Han, will be her submissive best friend. Freddie is smart, stylish, a badass and force of nature, who impulsively invites everyone in a local cafe to join her at her table, where she is holding court with Tina and Tina's shy friend Juan, Kim Dong Seok. She later seduces and then airily rejects him when the poor infatuated guy pathetically declares his eternal love. But Freddie's confidence wobbles when Tina tells her she could, if she wanted, contact her biological mother and father in South Korea. And the film allows us to realize that this, of course, was what Freddie always intended at some subconscious level. Through an adoption agency, she discovers that her Korean mom and dad are divorced. She finds her father easily enough, a heartbreakingly sweet-natured guy played by veteran actor Oh Kwang Rock, now remarried with teen children and devastated with the suppressed guilt at the abandonment which her reappearance has brought back to the surface. Boozy and maudlin, the dad piteously asks her to stay with his family, starts almost stalking her, begging for forgiveness, virtually as pathetic as Jiwon, but just as she refuses to be part of her father's life, her mother refuses to see her, and a terrible question permeates the entire film. Could Freddie have inherited from this absent woman her egotism and creativity, her talent for seduction, disruption, and moving like a whirlwind through people's lives?